there's a lot of blue in the meta right now, especially with Modern Mill being a tier 1.5 deck, I thought it'd be about time that we have some fun. Specifically around Veil of Summer, Plato in the Discord really thought this card could shine. And I was really interested by the list. And today, we actually get off to an insane start, potentially getting the 5-0. I'll let you check out the league and see how we end off. Enjoy. When it comes to playing some Modern Mill, these hands right here are pretty good. The whole point of this league, by the way, is not only to be testing Veil of Summer, but also make some improvements in personal play. So I may make some wild mistakes, but I feel like I've been kind of lacking, kind of lacking when it comes to playing Mill recently. So definitely just want to get get the heebie-jeebies out of the way here. Sacred Foundry. That's not a good sign. Okay. Sacred Foundry in a Ragavan is also a very weird, very weird situation. I'll say that. Triple Crab, you say? Well, more than happily, I'll play one out. They have the removal for it, so be it. But I think realistically what we're going to do. I don't even know if we block here. I'm going to take a hedge bet here. May not even block. Just let them have it. Truly. Just let them have it. Like, just because I have triple crab, I think I think it's better to, like, play into it. They took my breeding pool, which is fine. Okay, honestly, it might just be better to play into it. Blooded Strand grabs a Triome. What kind of three-color nonsense is this? Oh, okay, it's Domain. Okay, makes sense. Um, I probably should have probably should have booked that, honestly. Okay, but no... Um, what's nice about this is... So, no... Um, Leyline of the Guild Pack. So, that's good. All right. So, what's funny here is, like, Veil of Summer is, like, sneaky good here. It's, it's actually, like, sneaky good. Um, so I'm going to leave both on top here. Or actually. I kind of want to control what they get here. The, none of this is fatal push, honestly. So I think I just have to. None of this is removal. So I just have to go for it. Okay. All right. None of that was removal. So that's pretty unfortunate. So I think we're just going to be taking some more hits here. I think we're just going to have to take some more hits here. We're able to mill some stuff out. Double Lightning Bolt out of them. Triple Lightning Bolt actually is a pretty good sign. Um, I think I'm just going to take the hit here. Take four. Right? Not the first strike. They took an Undercity Sewers, which is nice. Again, taking, taking our lands is good vibes here. And then we can play Crab. And then just like Visions into a bunch of stuff. Let's see what happens. Maybe it's better to just like, honestly, you know, block the crab, but let's see. Expressive iteration. I don't, Domain Zoo doesn't play expressive iteration. That's a interesting one, but I mean, I, I rate it. A little bit of card draw. Preordain as well. What is this deck really doing? Like, actually, what is this deck really doing? I kind of need like Drown of the Lock. Honestly, kind of need Drown of the Lock. Yep. And I know that they're going to have some type of counter spell. They could just play aggressive here. Yeah, they'll play the other Scion. So they pretty much have lethal next turn. And that's the scary piece. I don't have that. So I think what I'm going to do is not going to, I'm not going to play the crab because I need as much mana as possible. So I'm going to play this and then kind of see what I need to grab here. So. Uh, I want to minimize the amount of lands I draw. So I'm going to grab a swamp. Right? That's pretty much GG's. If they have like one damage here. Love a fatal push. Absolutely not, I guess. Um, not much now. That's the problem. They've, they've searched their library already. We could have We could have gone the Field of Ruin route. Which could have potentially been like a better line. But we have that potentially this turn. So unfortunate. We we also had a crypt incursion main, which we could have drawn into. It's kind of why I threw it in there. Like I know domains at the top. So this is a slight change from what um what's going on from our uh from Plato's side. Okay. Leyline binding is a good sign. 
yeah, they didn't search the library. It's fine. Yeah, these have flying, so they're at they're at one. No force, nothing. So that's fine. I'm at one. You have lethal. No way. Eh? All right. I mean, all right. And that feels pretty good then. So we just got to force the, this has blue. This has everything has blue. So everything has blue. Like that's a, like like they're playing like force negation and counter spell, so it's kind of what I'm worried about right now. It's really like now or never. If I played, I don't know. If I played one more crab, would that have made a difference? Really, archive trap. Like, if one of these resolves, I'm fine. One of them needs to resolve. And it might have been better now that actually, now that I saw the force negation, it might have been better to do it on their turn. But they do have. Um, yeah, it might have been better to do it on their turn. So you just throw out the archive trap. I have the cycle fractured sanity available to me. But it's really just. Okay, so that's fine. So we just cycle this away. And so that's zero cards. You have one card left. Do you have the bolt in hand? I mean, they would have just used it because I was I was tapped out. So whew, did we steal it? We stole it. We stole it. Okay, so very interesting version. Definitely going to play into our Veil of Summers much more. Going to take out the mission briefing. Probably the Jaces. I definitely want like this. I definitely want these uh, 63 cards. We can drop. Pierce, Pierce, we have Veil, so we just need our spells to... We need, realistically, our spells to resolve. Um, versus them. So, Krypton stuff is going to be really important. We can drop, like, one Preordain. Yeah, we can drop one Preordain. Uh, Preordain, actually, maybe not. Maybe just drop a Visions. Because Visions has the least likely chance of resolving. Preordain is some selection. But, yeah, I, th I think this is what we want. Um, one thing that yeah, so it, this is going to be a matchup where we just want our stuff to resolve. Um, and we have the damnation in case that they do have the ley line of the guild pact in the opening. It still is an out against a resolved Scion of Draco. I could play in Snaring Bridge, but this is a deck playing ley line binding mistake, in my opinion. IMO, it's a mistake. But we did manage to steal that game one. So I am happy. So it looks like they're playing like a control version. I don't believe I saw any of the domain burn spell. And they opted for like counter spell and force negation, which is pretty good for us. And, and, and like for our, our purposes, that's a lot more dead cards. Um, well, let's see. Let's see what our opponent brings in against us. Probably Veils. Um, I imagine they keep the counter spells to some degree. And again, what's nice here, you, you get to do some tricky things here. So if they have Leyline and the Guild Pact out and they start throwing things at you like uh, Leyline Binding, you can actually counter that Leyline Binding effect with the Veil of Summer because once the Leyline Binding is on the field, it's all colors, which means it's a blue and black spell. So you don't get to draw a card because they still cast a white spell, but you do get to... Um... I don't actually like this hand. Uh, I feel a little bit better about this one. We'll drop the damnation. I feel a little bit better about this one. They kept a seven, unfortunate. No pregame though. Turn one Ragavan again would be really unfortunate. All right, fatal push off the top. No such luck. All right, we'll get an Undercity Sewers and we'll take it from there. Let's get an Undercity Sewers. Let's see if we want to keep it on top or not. We could just give them a land, honestly. 
It's unfortunate, but they have no targets, so it's functionally a dead card. It's unfortunate, though. Yeah, they can have that card. Can't have it. No, no point in putting it in the yard. It's something that we can control. It's not a card that they're going to cast. So, better off that way. There's a card in their yard now. It's kind of nice. Yup. Sign of Draco. Oh, Lord. Lordy Lord. Um, problematic. You got Force Negation here. I guess I could have waited. My idea is that like I take out some of their resources. Um, and then I can maybe crawl back out of this game with like a crypt incursion and stuff like based on the available information I have, maybe I can make more aggressive moves like this. Um, so they took out a counter spell for that, which is kind of nice. They are going to be taking our spells and ramping from there, though. Um, but that's kind of what it, like it's like I could have just waited because they didn't have double blue. So this would prevent the ramp on their end. So it probably was a bit of a miscall, call, but it does force some cards out of their hand. Could very well play that, actually. I don't mind them taking that. That's just not a land. Yep. So we're at four. We're not milling many cards either. Uh, that's kind of the problem. Expressive iteration. Sure. What are they exile? What are they exile with their iteration? Maybe they just don't find a land. That'd be a beautiful thing. I think this is a Veil of Summer matchup. I think traditional, I think traditional Domain Zoo, this would not be a Veil of Summer matchup. The sideboarding would be a little bit easier. But I think because they're playing so many counter spells, opponents stuck on the Veil. Guess they had to choose between what they wanted to put in hand and at the bottom. Two mana left. Counter spell up. No archive trap to punish them. Gonna have to preordain. Oh lord, it's like the exact same start from last time. Uh, we're gonna preordain. We're gonna bottom both of these. Oh lordy lord. Um. Wow. Okay. All right. Pass through. Not much I'm doing here. If they have the lightning bolt, they have the lightning bolts. Pretty impossible odds, regardless of how you spin it. Maybe a four mana here. Yep. Take my visions of beyond, will you? I'm at one. No creatures in yard. Opponent, go for it. Can't even shock in my watery grave. Sure, redraw. Might as well find the bolt if you have it. Opponent, opponent, playing a more mid-range plan. Playing a land. Good sign so far. So this is a losing game here. It's a losing game here. I it, like the only way I win this is if like literally I mill over exactly like three creatures or four creatures. Need to gain like legitimately 12 life, but even that's not a winning game either. Honestly, this is probably just GG's in general, but I'll force them to have it. One red. I don't think I win this, honestly. Like in all honesty, I don't think I win this. Um Okay, let's just let's just run it back. Let's just run it back. We like we're losing the turn one Ragavan. We managed to steal it last time because we were able to turn on our visions with our Hedron Crab. Unfortunately, we just had to mull to a hand that just wasn't that great. Just had to mull to something that was subpar. Finishing up the remnants of a Tiramisu here from a local Toronto bakery. Shout out to all my Toronto residents that know La Mana's bakery. Let me know in the comment section down below if you know them. Great stuff in general, but 
off the tiramisu, which was really good. We're gonna run it back. Um, I wonder if this deck plays a shuffle effect. We we won't know. We won't know truly uh, if they're playing endurance or not. We won't know, but I don't think they will. Um, I don't think it's the type of card this deck wants to really be playing. So. <laughs> Come on. Y'all know about that Shensia too. Y'all know about that Shensia. That song though, lighter, a little, a little radio-y, but I get the purpose. I got the purpose. I, I, I respect the hustle. Opponent, just like using up all my sideboarding time, I guess. Really? Okay. There you go. There you go. Um. Okay. All right. Fine. Beginning with seven because I get to start off with some crabs. They begin with seven, no pregame effects. Okay, I'm playing this out. I'm playing this out, opponent. I'm playing this out. How many times do they go fetch into Ragavan? How many times? Truly, how many times? How many times has this opener happened? Like every single game. Okay, all right, you know what? Fine. Bolt I can take. Bolt I can take. Let's just shock this in now. Okay, we're milling over some stuff. Archive Trap is pretty great. I'm going to put that in my hand, put the land away. I don't need that third land right now. They're probably going to fetch here. Then I can just start throwing things at them. Like next turn, I can just go land Fractured Sanity. Just start throwing things at them. What's nice is they haven't been able to get out Leyline and the Guild Pact at all this whole game. And that's not Counterspell mana, so that's good. That's good. Still that out there. So that's just a 4-4. Four, four. Right? Uh, are we supposed to shock that in? I guess. It doesn't really matter. But you see the green. See if they force this. That's 16 cards all of a sudden. Looking a little looking a little deck light there. Rest in peace, definitely a card that really complicates things. Oh, pff, Murktide region. Oh lord. Rest in peace, though. Okay. I wonder how many rest in peace you have. A little a little counterintuitive with it. Well, not really. Nah, you just don't have to use a second ability, but. Um, yeah, I think you, you just gotta, you just gotta start exiling your own stuff, like your own creatures. I get that. I, they're, they're probably looking through to see if they have any fetchables at this point. Um, I have my black source. I don't have double block for damnation. Stern scoldings. Hey, eh? I mean like, let's take a suite of their counter spells. So two scores, stern scoldings down. I imagine that's how many they have playing like three stern scoldings is like, probably weird they have counterspell counterspell one force counterspell 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 no just counterspell counterspell i'm mixing up my blue blues um yeah what do they want to do here they want to discard draw okay what are they discarding Sure. Do they have any more blue sources? It'd be amazing if they didn't. Okay. Discard the Ragavan. Take hits. It's fine. Like, take the thing. The real question is, do they have um, Force Negation? Veil of Summer would probably be... Veil of Summer is legitimately a game-winning top deck. If I was to draw Veil of Summer right now, I win this game. Like, actually, because I can resolve my crypt. It comments, comments, comments down below. You call me the Oracle. Call me the Oracle. My name is Shaf, a.k.a. that mill guy, the Oracle Asan. That's it. Call me the Oracle. 
comment. You're in the comment section right now. Go to the comments. Go to Comedy the Oracle. That's who I am. Know the name. Know the name. Know the name. Fear the name. The Oracle. Woo. That's what they call me. That's what they call me. I'm going to make you use the force right now. Use the force negation right now. Use it. They call me the Oracle. That's what they call me right now. That's legitimately what they call me. They don't call me nothing else. They don't call me nothing else. I'm telling you right now, they don't call me nothing else. That's it right there. That's the that's the top deck of the century, but we do have 10 damage coming at me a turn. So uh, what's nice about the Veil of Summer is it will redraw me a card. Um, yeah, it will redraw me a card. <clears throat> And they'll probably just be, I mean, they don't really want to be using that second, like the ability to like discard draw. They don't really want to be doing that. Opponent thinking right now, breeding pool up. Do I have the veil of summer? What, what is Mill doing with the breeding pool in the main board? I don't know. I don't know. Just, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you about the, about the, about the veil of summer in the main board. I don't know what to tell you about that. I don't know what to tell you about that, frankly. All right. Opponent just uh, lost in thought here. Lost in the sauce. Uh, nothing in chat. Nothing in chat, but... Whew. Okay, so I'll tell you what, though. Call it a game-winning uh, game winning play. We're getting one, two... Veil of Summer. Can't be countered. Can't be countered. Get that out of here. 35. Get that out of here. Get that out of here. Get that. Get that out of here. Get that. Put that in the graveyard. Put that in the graveyard. Come on. Put that in the graveyard. Do you know? Do you know about that? Put that. Put that away. Getting a little violent here. Put that away. Don't get too hasty now. Put that away. All right. So. Gain a bunch of life. What are their triggers going to be? Exile, Exile? I think it's got to be Exile, Exile. I don't see them drawing cards. That's a dangerous proposition. Yeah, exactly. That's a dangerous proposition to be uh, redrawing stuff. Yeah. So Exile, Exile. That's fair. No blocks. We can take some damage. Um, definitely want to be Fatal pushing on their upkeep. Oh, but if they're not going to play uh, the Counterspell. Yeah, if, they, if they're just presenting the lack of Counterspell here. Then uh, we can definitely make that happen. What's crazy is you don't even want to surveil like the card away. Preordain is a crazy top deck. So we will do this. These are cards I can't cast. They don't do me anything. That does do me something. So I have to kill the Ragavan here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Under city sewers. Put that on top. Take the Ragavan hit. Put that on top. Put, take the Ragavan hit. And cast this now. Yeah, take the Ragavan hit. Yeah, leave the Veil of Summer. They can have it. And they have to. They have to present damage. They have to attack, right? So, still very losable. Still very, very, very much losable. Right? Yep. I haven't played a single, single thing. Um, I definitely could have tried to fatal push on their turn, but didn't want to have to deal with potentially an archive trap or sorry, like a counter spell coming at me. So that's one thing I have to be aware of. Oh, and the GG's. Let's go. Let's go. That's it right there. Fractured sanity cycle that away. Uncounterable effect. Uncounterable effects. And we got there. All right. That's it, opponent. That's it. Ooh, that, was, that was a crazy game. That was a crazy game. 
capable hand in the world of Magic the Gathering? A lot of people would say no. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. I'm on the draw. If I was on the play, I'd mull this. I'd mull this. But I have, I have multiple turns to get another land. Okay, 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 okay. Titan, Titan, Titan. Growth Chamber. Simic, 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 Simic. All right. Titan, 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 Titan. Okay. Our opponent has met the misfortune of coming up against the mill matchup. Very losable, though. Very losable. I don't want to get too excited. No, there's no extra pates, surgicals in the main board. So it's, uh, it's going to be a tough one. It's going to be a tough one. It's definitely going to be a tough one. Um, even next turn, I don't even think I can play the Ruin Crab. I, I, I don't think I can. Uh, I might be able to with that then. They don't play anything. Might be able to get away with it. Uh, that is a great draw, actually. I will play that. What at the bottom put on top? Play this, and then I think we're just going to hold up Spell Pierce. There's no point in me doing anything. Just in case, like, they are able to, like, combo off. If they play an amulet, I can counter that. Um, I mean, it'd be very, like, it's, I can't really counter an amulet. Um, but if they, you know, do their whole shebang shenanigan thing. Four mana. That's a great counter, actually. That's a great, that's a great spell pierce right there. Okay, so in this case, we're just going to keep milling them here. I'm going to get my black source, and I'm going to take the Simic Grow Chamber away. Uh, no. Well, yeah, I have to kind of get my blue source, don't I? Because I'm going to play this Ruin Crab. So that's kind of take them back on a mana. We're going to also be able to archive trap them. It's great. So that's two prime times gone. Um, and we have to see what else we kind of milled off of that. There's a lot here. Uh, we took away the Gruel Turf, which is great. One of the Valakids, probably more. Uh, Simic Grow Chamber coming in tapped is great. Perfect. So they could just be casting one, two, three, four, five. I mean, they could. Let's see here. Uh, I think what we're going to do... Play the Jace. Play the Jace for three. Don't want to commit to my land drop just yet. Don't want to commit to my land drop just yet. That does make me feel better. Um, yeah. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna mill more on their turn. That way my fatal push is active. That's the idea. If they play like some other drop here, my fatal push is active. Yeah, so we pretty much just really taken them out of so many options here. This deck is is milled out time, time, time. They have one more primeval titan in there, and their cultivator colossus is gone. I don't think this deck plays two, but everyone's like min maxing their their prime time decks differently. So let's see, beautiful. All right, uh, again, very losable still. Uh, this is going to be an extra paid Soul Guide Lantern matchup. Drop a Crypt, drop the Jaces, drop a Mission Briefing, and I actually like dropping Visions in this case. Ah, uh, Spell Pierce. Spell Pierce is an option. I like dropping Visions. Um, I guess I'm on the draw. Spell Pierce has a lot less value. Yeah, Spell Pierce has a lot less value. I think this is what we want. Honestly, I could just keep the Visions. Uh, sorry, I could just keep the Jaces because they, they're they kind of like soft Visions, um, but they act as just kind of like a, a second copy, uh, like a copy's fifth and sixth of Fractured Sanity, which can matter. Um, this isn't Veil of Summer. Yeah, Extra Pate Soul Guy Lantern. Just got to just gotta manage that Graveyard again. Could bring back Spell Pierce on the play because I could counter the Amulet Vigor on one. 
So I just can't do that right now. So I don't I don't see it as being as powerful. Opponent kept a seven. <laughs> the only true deck that can really do this. They, they kept a 60 plus deck here. Um, this is really unfortunate, but I'm gonna preordain first. Try and get a black source. Bottom both. Not ideal. Or a fetch. Or a fetch. Slayer Stronghold is good vibes. Yeah, so they can play an additional land this turn if they want. Simic Grow Chamber. That's not great. That could put this could potentially be Titan next turn. Yeah, it probably is Titan next turn. Oh lord. That's Titan next turn. Yeah, sometimes it gets to that point. I can't even, like, punish them on this. Can't even really do anything. That's the problem. All right, opponent, you is. I'm at your whim. I'm at your whim. Yeah, I'm at your whim, unfortunately. All right. Um, just kind of have to get lucky with that prime time. Um, I don't have any black sources. This breeding pool... In a regular like mill deck, the way Plato has kind of subbed it in out is um, it is pretty much just a field of ruin. There's only three field of ruins in the deck, so it's not like this would have been like a watery grave or something. So you know, no worries about thinking like that. But explore, okay. Yep, so maximize your lands. Maximize your lands. Just gonna get the just gonna get the Titan off, and unfortunately, I don't I don't have a way to like really stop what they're doing. I don't I don't I, it's not like I can guarantee drown next turn. That's the big problem. Yep, I can stop like the uh, you know I can punish them a bit with the archive trap, but yeah, double double vigor, double amulet of vigor. This is what I want to this is what I want to stop um, on the play back on the play with the spell pierces. That's the tough thing. Like, I, I have to play the Soul Guide Lantern and Extirpates because Extir Extirpates takes the combo, but I have to be aware of the Endurances as well. So, um, yeah, I shouldn't be... I don't want to pass through completely here. So now that they've searched, I can do this. Right, and then that's pretty much all I can do. Took the Valkyrie out at least, but you know, Mirror Pool a token that's a copy of Target. Hey, yo, that's a card, but you need colorless for that. Well, there's the colorless. <laughs> there's the colorless. This is uh, this is quite the meme right here. This is uh, this is quite the meme. Is this still a land? No, it's just you just sack it and make a token, eh? Gonna say, can I field ruin it? Opponent. Doing a lot right now. Can't punish them too much. Searching the library for stuff. Valakit the Molten Pinnacle. Yeah, they have two. So that's good to know. That's good to know. Again, see, very losable. These aren't like free matchups. These aren't free matchups. Uh Especially just because we're not playing surgical in the main board anymore. It's, uh, you know, mill isn't necessarily, if you don't, if you, if you build it this way, it's not necessarily a four surgical main deck deck anymore. So, all right. Combat. No opponent. I don't think I win this, honestly. I'm, I'm going to be honest, like, especially with two time, like prime times out, like, I don't think I win this. Um, yeah, we'll bring in the spell pierces. I think that's probably correct here. And then I could drop like one preordain, maybe two preordain, just keep the jaces. Maybe just drop the visions all together and keep the preordains. Probably just a net better. Okay, hold on. I'm just going to keep the preordains with the same arts. <laughs> Keep the preordains with the same arts. Uh, but yeah, Jace just acts as extra copies. And uh, we just run it like this. Okay, it'll have to do. 
It'll have to do. Um, I have the extra paid, so. That's it. Um, I'm not gonna play the crab out on one. I'm just gonna play a soul guide lantern out. Opponent, um, so that 55 cards. They mold on a four though. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, Mo more cards in deck, more cards for me to mill. Could, could matter, could matter. Let's see. Let's see. Opponent. Deep in thought. Desperate for any semblance of control that they can have back in this game right now. Let's see what they can or can't do. All the four is a crazy decision, but yeah, there you go. That's that's the decision they'll make. Um, we'll just play an island. We'll play a soul guy lantern and pass the turn. What's going on? Moto. Moto. Okay. A lot of a lot of glitches with Moto recently. Okay, so again, the soul guy lantern out for the endurance. That's good. Uh, I predict no hand disruption from our opponents. Oh, interesting. So we're going to play this. Um, just in case they have the, uh, the removal spell for this. Ooh, the endurance is in there. But I have the soul guide lantern for the endurance. So I don't think endurance is the plan right now. I, I think the plan is legitimately... Um, ooh, okay. Okay, well, I don't need to do anything then. I don't need a fetch. I don't need a fetch. I don't want to. I don't want to play into thing if I don't have to here. Field of ruin does change that math for me though. Mill three. So we just got like three more cards that way. They have the thing for it then I was gonna say that there's the time to do it yeah because I don't want them getting amulet of vigor that's the thing I don't want them getting amulet of vigor not this soon yeah, not this soon uh get a yeah get a swamp if you can just get a titan that'd be great that'd be great there's the prime time yeah they did have the dismember uh like they are playing it I should say. They they are playing it. So on their turn, I'm going to be able to just extirpate that out through the draw phase here. All right, let's get to prime time. Whew. All right. That is a big problem gone. And then we can take a look at the whole thought 70. Well, the whole 65 and, and see how many copies of endurance they're playing. They're playing one more Endurance, which is kind of annoying. But that means this turn... Yeah, this turn they're not, they're not like playing one ring or anything, so that's fine. Um, if I can mill out the one more Endurance, I mean, what are their real threats? Yeah, Dry... I mean, Dryad, Valakut, right? One more Endurance. If I can extirpate Valakut, I can extirpate Dryad. Um, yeah. Not a lot of options for them. This is a very threat light deck. Did I take out? I took out the Cultivator. If I extirpate Dryad and mill the Endurance, they have no way to actually win the game. Um, I shouldn't say that. They, they still have, like, uh, the buff land. Yeah. But, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. One Endurance. Dryads. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay. On to... Play that. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this high strung magic right here. Look at this. Bring that in with that and then play the forest as your land per turn. Look at this high strung magic right here. Look at this high intellectual magic right here. Okay. All right. Let's see what our opponent does here. Uh, that is kind of nice. I will play the breeding pool tapped. Build over one of the Dryads, that's, uh, which is pretty nice. Um, I do want to try and cast Fractured Sandy and still hold up Drown if I'm able to. I do want to counter the One Ring as well. Yeah, so they will uh, do their thing with that. They'll 
you know, get an amulet of vigor, which is fine. Right. Uh, I will counter this. If they want to do the whole endurance thing, they can. Yeah, I was going to say, but then they lose the endurance. Like, they can't, like, hard cast the endurance. So that's fine. No land per turn, which is great. So we know that they lost the one ring. Okay, Gruel Turf, Oreo Grazer. Okay. Yep. Next main. Yep. Just really shutting them off of stuff here. Uh, and then, yeah, at this point... Yeah, at this point, I'm going to extirpate... Uh, yeah, I'm actually just going to extirpate the Endurance because then my uh, thing is a top deck. Actually, I don't need to. That's a mistake. I'm going to extirpate Dryad. Yeah. I'm going to extirpate Dryad right now. Yeah, I'm going to extirpate Dryad right now. That way, they're out of threats there. The Valakits are bad top decks. They have one Endurance left, and this is pretty much it right here. This is pretty much GG here. We were able to just, like, really take their deck apart. And we found the other Endurance. Yeah, that's GG's. Uh, you have no way to win the game. Yeah. 2-0. Let's do it. We good about the game so far. Uh, this is a pretty decent hand. Let's say. Uh, let's, let's hope for another favorable matchup here. Domain definitely wasn't, but opponent mulls once, so that's good. It's a good sign. We are on the draw, though. Hopefully no Tron. Forest into... <laughs> Lord. Ve Very losable. Very losable. Let's not get overconfident. Very losable. Very losable. Very, very losable. Okay. Okay. All right, opponent. What's nice, though, is I have the Drown available. Next turn, I can fetch. Um, I can fetch shock and then just have the drown available to me. Um, if they play Cavern of Souls, okay. Dryad, definitely okay. Yeah, with a Valakit out. With a Valakit out is definitely something I want to get rid of. Definitely something I want to get rid of. Might be bait, but we got to force them to have it, right? It's one of those situations. Right. Pass right through. Nothing to punish them with. I think four for the one ring. Fortunately enough, we're able to get around that. Um, yeah, fortunately enough, we're able to get around that. They can definitely start drawing into some stuff, though. So... Can't really play Jace, but I can play this, which is big game. That is big game. I will say that. We can get rid of that. Whew, when I tell you, you when, when you draw, you draw. When you draw in this deck, it goes crazy. I will say that. Simic grow chambers all around. Uh, we'll pass through. If we need to draw into something desperate, we will. I'll cast the visions. I probably will end up using the visions here. We were able to set them back by a turn, which is nice. Okay, draw, uh, drew three cards this turn. Fortunately, no, no surgicals or anything like that. All right, Arboreal Grazer coming in. Okay, Teleria West. Four mana for another one ring. Okay, I'll just redraw. All right. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, yep. Keep that one ring. Draw your card. They definitely. I mean, they, they top deck that Titan. It's uh, it's pretty good. I'll say that. Fortunately, no fetch. We can still go pretty crazy here. We can do this. We can cast this. Right. And we could just draw three cards right now. Okay, um, and I mean, next turn we win the game. Uh, I shouldn't I shouldn't say that. Well, if they Titan here, they're going to reduce the amount of cards in their deck. 
I, I could play Jason and minus, minus Jace. Let's hope they just don't play a one ring for another effect because that'll stop the Jace. But if they do draw some cards, I mean, yeah, there you go. So they're drawing some cards. Fractured Sandy wins this game. I just need to live. Um, and that's kind of that's kind of pretty tough here. Let's see. Let's see how things line up here. Oh, let's see if I can't steal this against Double Titan. Let's see if I can't steal this against Double Titan. All right, Snore X. A lot of cards in your graveyard right now. Prime time, prime time, prime time. One more Primeval Titan left. Uh, I took the Slayer Stronghold. You have the Sun Home Fortress. I didn't take your. Oh no! Well, I took the Ghoul Turfs, but your White Red Land. I don't have that. Cultivator Colossus. Cultivator Colossus. Tapping your mana appropriately first, I guess. That's fair. What? Put up to X land from your hand. Hey, yo, this is a sick card. What do you mean? Yo, this card's actually sick. X damage to any target. So it could be me too. They could just burn me for five. X land cards from your hand and or your graveyard onto the battlefield tapped. That is a card. Hey, yo. That is a card. That's essentially saying, like, I can win next turn. That is sick. Okay. Wowee. All right. Wow, wow, wow. That is, that is a cool card. Recent card, too. Uh, Bajuka Bog. Going to mill themselves. That's fair. Um, but I'm just going to be able to untap it. So you, you just, you really have to, you have to have the, <clears throat> you have to have the endurance in hand here. Um, all right, mill 14. Yeah, that is, that is the GGs. Okay. So we're going to sideboard the same way on the draw. Keep the Jaces, uh, drop the spell pierce, three visions of beyond. And we're going to go three and three. I guess I lost one more car. One more. Oh no, I don't really want Crypt. I don't really want Crypt. Keep the Preordains because selection is going to be key. Then back on the draw. Back on the draw. I'll drop a Visions and a Preordain. Probably. Yeah, I can't remember what I did. I literally can't remember what I did last time, but we're kind of sideboarding on the fly here. Oh, no, no, no. It's not a hand. <clears throat> it's not a hand. 2.5 spells, Otawara being one of them. Opponent brought in their whole sideboard. The Amalgam 5. I'm going to keep this. Drop a Drown. Um, Undercity Sewers is kind of nice and the Preordain. Um, I don't see why we can't find a second and or third land um, to really get the ball going. opponent brought in their whole sideboard and they're kind of paying for it now most of four most to four you hate him seeing go you hate to see him go but love to watch them leave uh they still found the amulet of vigor so that is something two cards in hand uh under city sewers give me a land bottom graveyard i mean well preordain Honestly, if it wasn't for the Preordain, I would have mulled this hand. Um, Cavern of Souls naming Giants as well. Lordy, lordy, lord. Uh, Preordain. Oh, wow. No, 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 no. Oh, this game sucks. I didn't know that's how bad this game was. Oh, okay. So we're just losing a whole turn cycle. We just, we're losing a whole turn cycle. That is crazy. Do you have nothing to do as well? Huh, okay. All right, fair enough. It's named Human. Oh, Azusa. All right. Azusa. Uh, you could have just 
played that again, but okay. Uh, yeah, I need this, this, and then this. Yeah, uh, they could have just played the land again. I don't, I don't know. Um, the scary thing is, is like how much they can just top deck into a win. As long as this Azusa is out, they can really just top deck into a win. Yep. Please don't just have Titan into the win here. Yep. What do you have here? Giant? There's the call on the giant. Okay. Opponent. Opponent, opponent. Okay. All right. Nothing. Good. Good, 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 good. Oof. All right. Uh, we're drawing, we're drawing things. Uh, Okay, we'll play this. Shock this in. All right. Shock that in. Um, we will... At this point, because they have, like, no thing, I'm definitely just supposed to kill the, the Dryad and then pass from there. If I really needed to get desperate, I could play Soul Guide next turn. I could play Soul Guide, pop Soul Guide, draw a card, fatal push the Azusa. I just don't know how valuable that is right now, considering. But okay. Do you just have the um do you just have the Titan in hand? Which is the insane like the fact that you you'd be able to like naturally get into it here with this turn is insane. Alright. Cavern it is. One random card in hand. You don't have it. Okay. All right. We're safe for another turn. We're safe for another turn. I don't even want to Azusa that thing right now. Yeah. See, Cavern of Souls naming Giant. Uh, I think I'm supposed to do this just to try and find a land. Like, actually. Like, worst case scenario, just try and find a land. All right. There it is. There it is, baby. There it is. Yep. Watery Grave, shock that in, because we're casting two black spells this turn, ideally. Ooh, there's the Primeval Titan. There is the Primeval Titan, baby. There it is, there it is, there it is. We can kill the Azusa, we can take the Prime Time. Oh, wow, we have drawn it, we've drawn out of it all. Let me tell you, we have drawn out of it all. We have actually drawn out of it all. Draw. <laughs> they, they saw me. They saw me tap for it. They saw me tap for it. We are three and zero oh so far. The league is now casual. Doesn't mean we we're not gonna lock in, but that's good. We already got our three wins. In this game, after opponent does a lot. So on the draw, I actually don't really like this hand. There's kind of like two dead cards, like Spell Pierce isn't great on the draw, and there's nothing enabling the Drown. Preordain's our first play, J into Jace, like, I'm going to mulligan this. If this was an island. All right, we got a mull to five. <sighs> Wasn't any better. Um, all right, let's run it like this. Let's run it like this. It's not a great start. I stand by though. I wasn't a fan of that of that first hand. Marsh flats into swamp coffers. I don't know. Um, we'll start off with the preordain. Yeah, we'll start off with the preordain. I like that crab in my hand. Into shadow spear. Is this coffers? Okay. All right. Well, let's just play. Just play everything out here, honestly. I hate you so much. Right. Seeming like some type of garbage nonsense. All right. 
Orkage Bowmaster is starting to be one of those cards for me. It's starting to, Orkage Bowmaster is starting to be like Thoughtseize for me. Oh, it is Coffers. Okay. It's Coffers and they already have the nonsense out. All right. We didn't get Grief, but Veil of Summer is, Veil of Summer is going to be really good in this matchup. Veil of Summer is going to be really good in this matchup, especially like Veil of Summer onto into like a cast uh, Bullmasters is pretty good vibes. Um, I'm going to take these two hits because they are definitely just going to play another Bullmasters and try and get me. Exactly. No need for the crabs to die if they don't need to. Perfect. Do what you need to do. Uh, we will just be taking that piece from you. Turning this into an island. We will not be drawing a bunch of cards. I will tell you that much. Yep, and we will just hit you with this archive trap. Lily of the Veil, is this the rack? Is this is the rack? This ain't no. You know what this is? The rack recently. It was Friday's modern challenge. I'm recording this Saturday night, and the rack like got second. The rack like won it or something. I don't know. There was like two racks in like the top eight. Okay, I literally, legitimately, Veil of Summer is like game winning here. So. Oh, they're gonna take my fractured sanity. All right, I I think I might actually have divisions to be on here. I think I legitimately have divisions just to find a win condition because if I find another fractured sanity, that's uh, that's game winning. I'm just gonna take the hit here. Yep. They could very much just shoot a bunch of triggers at me. They could kill one of the crabs, but that's fine. Uh, I found the fractured sanity. If they, I think they'll kill the crabs. Which is kind of unfortunate, but whatever. Let's see. Let's see if they're dumb and they keep one of the things alive. Whatever. Just just kill my crabs if if that's what happens. Yep. All right. Um. So we get to my life. It's unfortunate. Um. Yeah, I guess I could have just like tried to top deck into it, but uh, I'm technically still full still alive. I draw a fatal push, so. Uh, I'm not actually now that I'm realizing that yeah all right it's uh yeah it's kind of GG regardless all right uh, a little unfortunate we we're close definitely not one of our better matchups at all but this is a matchup that can really 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 uh turn around based on how we board into it so uh we'll play this we will play the encrypt incursion I think I'm supposed to drop archive trap because they're not really going to search their library and that's just like a dead card that they're gonna leave in there forever. Um, we're on the play. I can play one spell pier. Spell pier is also like kind of a dumb card. Eh, you know, counters Liliana the Veil. Honestly, is Damnation better? Mm, let's run it. Let's run it. Let's run it like this. Veil of Summer is probably gonna be the best card that we can find. And we found it. Uh, yeah. Okay. And we found it. So I'm going to start off by going Polluted Delta. Get my Veil of Summer out of the way. Then next turn we can go Crab. Fetch under, under City Sewers and just start setting some things up. I think that's probably correct. So let's play the, uh, the Flooded Strand out and we'll pass. We can get a Breeding Pool with that. I'll be the one of, but... It's one of those matchups. Uh, you know what's funny? I will say this. I have only beat the rack twice uh, in maybe three times. I, yeah, I've only beat the rack three times, actually, now that I think about it. Two of those were with Search for Escanta back when that when Modern was slow enough where you could play that card. The other time was with Earl. Very different cases here, so... We'll get and I'm just going to get the breeding pool now. I'm just going to get the breeding pool. They're going to name polluted Delta here, which it kind of punishes us for not playing it, but it's OK. Oh, jeez, the perfected mind, you say.
I think I'm fine with... So this is a little iffy. I'm fetch shocking here. I'm enabling their kind of win condition here. But I think maybe if we just start um, kind of setting up some stuff here. I actually don't want any of this. I, I need lands. I legitimately need lands. Okay, there you go. So that, that makes it so I still have a Veil of Summer in hand if they... God sees me here. Or something. Yep. You have the reanimation for it. So I can I, I can kill it regardless here. Uh, so they got rid of a not dead after all, showing me that they have another one. So no matter what they do here, uh, this is dying. So yeah. fatal push. Um, that makes sense. They're gonna hit me with the not dead after all. They're gonna take the drown here. Yeah, they definitely just take the drown here. Yep, that way that can just kind of stay as is. Yep, and uh, they're just going to kind of ride that out to victory, I guess. Um, We are going to redraw a card. And we'll pass from there. We'll hold up the Veil of Summer. Unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately the grief is uh, kind of annoying. Um, this does allow them get, to get the rack, which is very dumb, but that's okay. I want to see if the rack is, if the rack is good in the meta right now, Tasha's hideous laughter has something to say, but that's okay. Problem is this isn't really a creature heavy deck either. So we're just going to have to play this and, and let them, let them wind themselves up here. Yep, so we'll just play this because you cast that. That way you can't really point that at us. You have to point that at yourself. Yep. Okay, we're going to block the Bow Masters. We can draw a land that'd be great um no creatures to get with the crypt incursion that is brutal i will say that yeah the thought sees will take our veil of summer i think at least it might actually take crypt honestly because they don't have any more black effects so veil of summer doesn't really do anything um and i can't really cycle fractured sanity i actually crypt incursion is the correct take might just get too old by uh by the rack I think Crypt Incursion was the correct take, but okay. Can't really cast that, can I? Take five next turn. <sighs> they just get the rack here. All right. Oh, Veil of Summer. Okay, so I lose my crab, really. Because I have to block... This thing has menace. I have to block the construct. Yeah, I have to block the construct here. Nah, this is GG. This is actually like game over. Yeah, I've just, I was just kind of stuck on lands. Um, wasn't able to sequence that right. They griefed me out of the game. That's fine. Just not a great matchup. We're not, we're not going to be able to 5-0, but maybe we can 4-1 this league. Uh, I'll just concede it here. Last game of the league. Let's see if we can't turn it around. Um, on the play, I don't mind this. On the play, I don't mind this. I'll just pass, hold up spell pierce since I have it. Um, I'll play the fetch just to get out an under city sewers. And we'll take it from there. That's it. Uh, if I need to shock... Then I will. I need a shock. I will. Opponent plays island. Into Aether Vile. Merfolk, huh? Alright, so... We're definitely countering that. Because that's pretty much the only time we're ever going to get to use uh, Spell Pierce. Against this matchup. But this is definitely not a favored matchup at all for us. So, it's kind of unfortunate. Like Merfolk. It could it could turn around and be humans. Humans did play an island, but I don't think current iterations of humans play islands, so there's that. 
but it just means that our counter spells are just that much better. Obviously, they could Cavern of Souls, but they would have just opened on that. Okay, I don't mind the straight lands here. I'll bottom that, put that on top. I don't really want to draw sewers. Um, I kind of need like a Field of Ruin or something. I need to get this Archive Trap out of my hand. Um, a Field of Ruin would be great eventually like a field rune as a fourth land would be great here because mission briefing allows me to i could archive trap mission briefing the trap again oh ooh, ooh, ooh. that's potentially a, a a punishable moment right here yep so this is this is actually really good i'm going to be able to um cast a visions here hey okay, and it explores interesting okay all right um i'm going to be getting my able to get my visions out which is really powerful. Yep. Playing green, though, that, that does, like... I think that does help us. That's going to dilute their deck a little bit instead of just being mono blue, where they might just be playing pure counter spells. Wondering if they are, but... This enters, it'll explore. It's a land, otherwise put a one encounter on this creature and they'll put that card card back or put it into your graveyard so they'll put that card back so they're drawing a trickster they're just choosing what to do here so you can put a 1-1 counter it's just uh whether or not they put it back yeah so they're gonna put it back trickster seems pretty good just to be able to shut down the crab but we do get our visions value here which is great so they're gonna put it back and i think i'm just gonna fetch out here Trying to min max everything, but let's see if I can draw some crabs. So 21. Draw three. Let's kill this. And then we'll draw three again. Yeah, we'll draw three again. Perfect. Alright. Not a bad start against Merfolk. Honestly, probably the best start we could ever have against this deck. Yeah, probably the best start we could ever have against this deck, I will say. Hmm. I don't uh Veil of I think I just have to bring in the Veil of Summers because yeah, they could like Aether Vile, but just having protection from stuff like Merfolk Trickster um is gonna be pretty valuable. And then if they do bring in like spell pierces or forces post board. Then we're gonna have protection from that as well. So they're gonna explore, but they're gonna leave the card on top. Feels Lord of Atlantis. All right. Why though? Go away. Actually, go away. What are you talking about right now? Put that away. Like I like just put that away. Like, what do you want from me? What do you want from me? Um, I do think I just want to hold this up right now. Ah, uh, I could get tide bindered. Yeah, I I don't want to get got. That's that's my big problem. I don't want to get got. Uh, I'll just get an island if I need a fetch shock. Like they haven't really played a lord yet. They could definitely just top deck a lord, but I'll just do that and then. If they search their library, I could like mission briefing. Worst case, what I can do is, uh, yeah, okay, so that comes in. Stuff like this is really annoying. Yeah, but it's okay. They don't need to pay the extra mana. That's just a one mana, two, two merfolk. Okay, up to two. I would love it if they search their library for some reason, but they won't, right? They know that, they won't. Um, and I guess they'll, they'll play around the fact that I could just have straight up counter spell. But if they decide to do something on my turn, I can just uh, so they'll go in for an attack. They're going for four. That's fine. No blocks. Take four. The Lord. Take six. Okay. 
How to target non-creature spell. It's a card. That's a card. If I think I have the win here. All depends on what they have, though. All depends on what they have. Really does depend on what they have here. Okay. Okay, Scalding Tarn. I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to go for it. They have it, they have it. All right, if they have like the Tishana's Tide Binder, they have the Tishana's Tide Binder. Uh, let's play that. What we can do is we can Jace. Really for that much. If you have the Tashanas, do so now. Counter the ability, because that's the best I got. I think I think this is correct. Oh, baby, we got there. Oh, they have zero cards in hand. What am I saying? They literally have nothing. What? What was I tripping out over? <laughs> what was I tripping out over? <laughs> okay. All right. I was able to get around the kind of non-creature. Okay. We were able to steal game one, which is pretty big. So this matchup. Um, and what's crazy? There's a lot that works here. And I think I want it all. I want it all. And I want it now. I'm gonna take out the archive traps and then I'm gonna take out one visions and I'm gonna take out the archive traps because they're not gonna search too much it's gonna be a very hard card to enable it's gonna be stuck in my hand thanks to an uh thanks to the ensnaring bridge uh sorry uh not thanks dude like I need to enable the ensnaring bridge I also need to resolve the ensnaring bridge so I think ensnaring bridge is gonna be pretty big I think that's how we're gonna that's how we're gonna survive. Obviously, they're gonna have Otawara. They could be like big brain and bring in Artifact Hate. It's a fair, you know, fair read. If I ever saw a Mulligan, it's this one. Let's see here. Show game log. Again, eh? We're gonna mulligan. It's like these cards just didn't even change. Uh we're gonna keep this. We'll drop one of the crypts don't need two not right now anyway pass right through see botanical sanctum they have the green that they need there they're, they're gonna aether vial yep city sewers we need lands right now yeah we, we need lands right now Question is, do they have the counter spell, like the force negation or something? Because I'm, I, I need to find bridge, um, and I just need to like resolve it. It's kind of just the idea here. Yep. It's a land you put in your hand. Dismember. You can do put it back on top. Okay, put it in the yard. Yeah, fair enough. Um, triple preordain. We're gonna dig. All right, lands are lands, lands are lands. I'll take that for what it is. Um, play this. Lands are lands. Fortunately, one thing that you had against, like, with some of the older lists is. You could play like Dark Slick Shores and like get into these situations where like you don't even have an island on the field. So they may not have like the perfect island walk, but Merfolk Trickster enters revealed. Okay, so that's just creature though, so that's fine. So here's the tough thing. So Trickster's gonna come in. 
I have no fatal push for him. And I just have to play Jace here. Oh. Okay. I'm just gonna play the Master of Waves. Okay. Alright, fair enough. So I have to uptick on one of the Master of Waves? No, I can't even play this. this let's cycle i think i'm supposed to feed their yard a little bit because i need to play this crypt incursion at some point okay snaring bridge is a pretty good draw i will say that those get big they get big Put on top, put on top. So this is going to be... Okay, this is close. This is close. This is close. So the idea is we play Ruin Crab, Field of Ruin. And then we hold up Crypt. And then survive that one turn. That just reduces our hand as much as possible. Last thing here is we just don't want to get Tishana Tidebindered. That's the scary part here. We don't want to get to Shanad. But it could very well happen. So I don't want to play the fetch. Not yet, anyway. Yeah, I just don't want to get got by the fetch. Okay. Gain nine life here. Do I even live? I mean, now's the time to do this. I was going to do this at any time, but now's the time. They have the counter spell, sure. Just can't do anything about that. GG's. All right. Um. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Just uh, game three. Game three. Yeah, I think, I think we played it right. Just uh, didn't didn't line up the way we wanted it to. Uh, this is fine. This is fine. I'll run this. I'll run this. I'll run this. I'll play the crab out. I can then hold up drown. Um, they play vile. Unfortunate, but it's okay. We can just. Playing Snaring Bridge, maybe. Um, might wait. Let's see. Uh, now that we know Force and Negation exists. They don't know that Ensnaring Bridge is a thing. I, I will say that. They do not know that Ensnaring Bridge is a thing. So they're thinking about what they want to do here. They kept a 7. They brought in 4 straight cards and they're able to keep a 7. That's unfortunate. But again, not a. this is not a matchup that's favored for us at all. I think it's slightly better now that they're playing green because I think they're playing strictly worse merfolk they're like I think they're legitimately playing strictly worse merfolk um than they could be okay so we're just gonna grab um a I'm just gonna grab a watery grave and we're just gonna hold up the drown that's all this is about right now one force negations in there. That's nice. Mm -hmm. They have another land, or they keep a one lander. I wonder. I wonder if you kept a one lander. I wonder if you kept a one lander. I wonder if you kept a one lander. A a a. No, it's not a one lander. A. It's not a one lander. A, a, a. 
All right. Um, I don't think we need to get too caught up in the visions because we're trying to play a bridge. I don't think we need to get too caught up in this. Sure. That works for me. Yep. So let's play this. Um, I'm going to force the Jace. Might be incorrect, but I'm going to force the Jace. Just gonna force the Jace as a control piece. Thinking about whether or not to force negation in this. They definitely have the force in hand. Um, I have to think about how to deal with this. Island walk is gonna be really annoying, but uh, let's see. Let's see. That's great, actually. Um, I'll take that. They took a trickster for that, which is great. That means likely my bridge resolves next turn. Likely. Chances are. Um, they'll play the one drop here. Hexcatcher is kind of frustrating, but if we if we find a land, then our, our spell resolves here. So it's okay. That goes up to two. Muta Vault might just swing in, honestly. Yeah. Muta Vault, activate Muta Vault, swing in. No blocks. <laughs> no blocks. No blocks, no blocks, no blocks. You can bring in your Lord. I want you to have less cards in hand. Yep. I legitimately want you to have less cards in hand. Yep. I'll land off the top. Great. Do like that. So let's play that. Opponents. Let's see what they do here. I'm going to fetch. Okay. All right. So the no, no tide binder stopping me there. I'm then going to play this. Then just gonna play this. Please let this resolve. This is like literally game winning. Literally game winning if this resolves. You don't have the second force negation. If you have the second force negation, I lose this game. Because you're able to have like the perfect responses. I wouldn't say, well, maybe not. I wouldn't say I lose the game, but like. It's frustrating. It's frustrating. It's frustrating. But it's okay. In that situation, what I was trying to do was uh, because I fetched, if they had like a, a tide binder to counter my fetch, I would just let the tide binder, or I would counter the tide binder. And then they wouldn't be able to stop that there. And then, I don't know, I'd take more hits, but. Right now, what's nice with this is I can still empty a card. Those Muta Vaults are now 3-3s. Three so this is where things start getting real good. Because that Lord of Atlantis is really messing with them here. Okay, Ensnaring Bridge comes out. And really, nothing in chat from our opponent here. I don't know, they're deep in thought here. Um, do they have like a... What do they have for green? Green. What? Opponent? Okay. Sacrifice a Merfolk. That's just sacrifice a Merfolk in general? Oh, I thought it was sacrifice this. <laughs> that is actually insane. That is actually insane. Uh, okay. E uh, no, no, no. I'll just play with my Rune Crab. A 
was playing my rune crab. Okay, perfect. Uh, I will... I guess that's an exchange I'll have to accept. Um, I don't think I lose the game next turn. I'm in a decent spot, I would say. But I didn't know that's how Hexcatcher worked. Other merfolk. I think I still would have thrown out the bridge regardless. I mean, I was able to take out two of their lands, two of their threats, which could have swung back at me. I thought this was... Yo, this card is sick. What do you mean? Yeah, like, this card is, this card is badonkadonks, like, hey, yo, like, actually, the card is cracked. Yeah, the card's actually cracked. All right, uh, Island Walk, yeah, no blocks. All right, um... Do I wait until their turn? I'll play this. I'll play this crab. I will kill the. Yeah, I'm going to target the Lord of Atlantis. So here I will target this Lord of Atlantis here. I will target this Lord of Atlantis here. Okay. So that removes the, the whole Island Walk feature of that card. So that's great. This game is so close. That uh, the whole Hex Catcher thing is really dumb, but okay. Them drawing lands, though, is perfect. I will say that. Yes, I will be blocking. I will 100% be blocking. I'm not taking free damage. Yeah, I will not be taking free damage. Oh, baby. That is a, that is a magic card. And I think with this, I pretty much win it. So on their upkeep, I'm going to crypt them now. And that should seal this game out. That should seal this game out. Let's see. Yeah, this should seal this game out. This should this should generally seal this game out. I'm at 49 life. Yeah, so these Field of Ruins should lead me to victory. <laughs> Baby, 4-1 in this league. Honestly, I wasn't even really able to showcase um, Veil of Summer at all, really? Except for the game one. Um, but Mill just got to do Mill things. Like, we were just kind of going off with Mill, so uh, I'll take it.